In this short demonstration, I'm going to show you how to uh, back up a machine using the uh, Net Backup self service portal. So I'm logged in as a user and I can view at the moment all of the machines within my inventory list here. I can see that there's a number of machines that aren't protected at the moment. These are indicated by the uh, amber uh, square here. So what I'm going to do first of all is go over onto the right. I'm going to uh, select the cog and from here I'm going to go in and add this machine into a policy. I've got a choice of selecting gold, silver or bronze uh, and I'm going to select for this one gold. As soon as I select that we get a pop-up form appear on the screen and from here all I need to do is to click on protect and it'll now go and add that machine into the gold policy. If I decided I wanted to pick a different policy at this stage uh, then we can pick on the spyglass and that will actually show me each of the policy names uh, and uh, give me a description on those. And this can be tailored according to whatever the uh, particular requirements are for a particular tenant. Okay, so I'm just going to click on to protect. Uh, when I do that, you'll see that the uh, inventory list now starts to uh, be modified. We can see the cog going round as well. Now, when I add that machine into a policy, it's automatically going to show up as a red warning because it won't have been backed up uh, within the last 24 hours, which is the threshold that we've set uh, for that particular policy level. So what I might also want to do then is to do a backup now on that. So this is an ad hoc backup uh, and it's going to go and do a one off backup uh, instantaneously. OK, so this one then again, we get a pop up form. Uh, this time I can go and select from the particular retention period that we want. Uh, and if I go and select infinity on this one, then you'll see how we can also now invoke uh, some approval. So if I go and click on to backup, you'll see because we've actually picked infinity, uh, what we're doing is we're going to be uh, asking for this request to go through some approval. Here you can see we've got a three stage approval. Uh, we're doing uh, it to an approver, uh, to what we call a stager, and also a notifier. So these are different roles within uh, Net Backup Self Service. We can do it in serial and parallel, and also to users and groups. So if I clicked on to uh, backup now, that would go through and invoke that approval. Each of those users in turn would be sent uh, an email. They click into that email uh, and that would then bring them into the system where they could either approve or decline the request. If they're an approver or if they're a stager, they could go in and actually change the details in the request. If they're a notifier, they'll just receive the, uh, the email to notify them that this is going on. Okay, so I'm not gonna uh, push this through approval. So what we'll do is if I close that, we now go and select maybe one week. Uh, then this time when I click on backup, uh, we're not going to uh, push it through any approval. And again, it's going to go and run that request. And you can see now against this particular uh, machine uh, that we're actually backing that up now as well. OK, so that completes the uh, short demonstration of uh, backing up machines in uh, through the uh, NetBackup self-service portal.